Well, you know what it is, based on title. It's another box of awesomeness from Evite. This time it's the May the 4th edition. Even though it's the 13th today. We're late, but uh, let's go right into it. So this thing's kind of heavy. It's like 10 kilograms, uh, according to UPS. And uh, as seen in the beginning of the video, we're going to open it with the Arnie's, or Cali stick, depending on how you want to say it. This thing's quite sharp at the edges too. Oh, it didn't cut though. There you go. See, this thing's quite effective. Quite effective. Uh, let's see what we got inside though. I, once again, as per usual, I know nothing about what's inside. So, maybe we lost. Who knows? Maybe we won. I won't know until later. Oh, what the hell? Uh, so we got quite a bit. Um, we got uh, more masks. Everyone's favorite. I guess the first thing we're going to start out with is this thing. <laughs> they had to ha they had to put it in the worst packaging. It oh wait, it's actually not that bad. I'm so used to the cancerous one. Hold up. If I can open it like this, we're winning. That's not safe. I think I'm gonna break it. I think you need some scissors for this. <laughs> I, I I think I think we're just gonna skip this. But it's um Swiss Arms Plus Soft Air uh, PT111 is a spring pistol. I think. Yeah, it's a spring pistol, as you can see here. I'm gonna assume that this small box is next. Which we'll see what's that. Oh. Well, well, that screwed up. Okay, well, take a whiff of this. It's a M16, M4, I don't know, with a, I think it's a USA paint job. Or maybe it's just some Star Wars things that I do not know of. But uh, based on the plastic, we're going to have to open it up. Oh, there's a little opening right here to open it up. and Let's get it out and I'll show you guys. I hope my video isn't screwing up because of this. Uh, this would suck a lot. Oh, okay. Let's get it out. Let's get out the B. Look at this thing, dude. It's I think it's plastic slash polymer. But it doesn't feel bad in the hand. It actually feels kind of nice. Retractable stock as with, with a lot of these M4s. And you get a mag. I'm not going to say clip this time because uh, I cringed the last time I said clip. It's a mag. It's a high cap mag. It feels kind of good, dude. The trigger is kind of responsive. It probably doesn't have a MOSFET though. I like that a lot. The bolt catch works. Not the bolt catch. I mean the charging handle. Uh, I'm kind of dumb today. Stock doesn't feel too bad, even though it could it could use a bit more texturing. But so far, not too bad, not too bad. I'm not the biggest fan of colors on my guns. I prefer just the standard black, but I don't mind this at all. I'm probably gonna recoup for profit. Not really profit. Uh, just recoup the cost of this box. Let's put this down here. So, um, we got uh, instructions for AK and an M4. <laughs> uh, so maybe that'll give me a hint as to what, oh, what this bottom one, no, it's not, no. Nah. It, <laughs> it says back here that's a uh, custom spring gun or something here. You guys can see it, right? You guys can see it? I don't know what it is, but, uh, it says, oh, damn light suit. So this is an electric gun. So what is it? It said on the label that it's a spring gun. I guess we'll see in a moment. I'll show you like this. So many boxes. You guys can see it, right? You guys can see it? Because uh, I can barely see it. I can. I think it's an M4. 
Yeah, I think it's an M4. Another M4. Uh, M16 or something. Uh, we got a cleaning rod, jamming rod. I, I keep forgetting what these are called because I never use these. I'm a gas kind of guy. I use gas blowback guns. Most of the time. I had a vector that was an AEG. So. Oh, wow, dude. This thing is hefty as hell, dude. Wait, what, uh, it still comes with a battery. Huge, though. <laughs> they just, they just kind of put up a bunch of these. Uh, I, I forgot what these batteries are called. I used it for my uh, EOTech. But uh, they just clumped a bunch of these batteries together and just called it uh, M4 battery, AEG battery. Comes with a charger as well. Some crappy beats. And another high cap mag mag once again as seen in my other videos i was never fond about high cap mags uh so as you can see it's an m16 it's an aug <laughs> Selector switches work. The charging handle works too. And I think this is all polymer, no plastic. It, it kind of, oh, the stock feels kind of metal though. I kind of like that. Feels nice in the hand. The sights feel, look pretty good too. Guess we'll deal with that. And uh, one final thing in the box was this. I think there's a playing card and there's a patch underneath, as per usual. There's always a patch, but I always seem to miss it. So that's that. Next up, I guess we're gonna check out the value of these items. We got two M4s and uh, some random pistol, a spring pistol. But uh, we'll check that in a moment. I couldn't open a spring pistol because I don't have scissors. And uh, that's very unsafe to open with your hands. So nothing I could do about that, sorry. So, now let's check out the value of the box, right? So, just like we said here, it's the Flash Edition, May the 4th, Be With You, May the 4th, Be With You Edition. And uh, it was 210 bucks. Quite pricey, yeah, quite pricey. But uh, you know how it is, you know how it is. So there's 174 boxes available. We got one of those 174 boxes. Now let's go find out what we actually got. Shouldn't be too hard, wait. Okay, no, <laughs> definitely not that. Oh, here it is. Okay, okay. So apparently, this had 30 winners. I thought it would be 50, not gonna lie. So we actually got a decent win here. So uh, according to this site, we got a Golden Eagle M16A4 RIS Airsoft AEG rifle with a battery and charger package bundle. And that's worth about 232 bucks. And, um, not too shabby. Uh do that it has an abs polymer body that's kind of what i suspected with a bit of metal of course uh full length abs polymer handguard version 2 get a metal gearbox which is great you you'd want a metal gearbox especially if you're using ag and it comes with braille covers which i did not see because i'm blind <laughs> it shoots at 350 to 370 fps which would be illegal at uh some of my fields unfortunately but uh you know has a hop up, which is adjustable, and it comes with a high cap magazine. Typical. And I guess that's that. Oh, it's currently on sale for 205 bucks. <laughs> so uh, I guess technically this, uh, even then, this basically paid for the box itself. Just this gun alone. Let's go back and see what the, uh, what else we got. So that gun, uh, I, I, I said it was based on what now? Like Star Wars? Or the U.S. flag? <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking, but apparently... This is a Matrix Custom Gundam-inspired Airsoft M4. Custom AG by SEMA. Oh, SEMA. That's great. And it's uh, apparently 149 bucks. I, I thought it would cost more. I thought this would be the main box, not gonna lie. I thought this would be the main gun in the box, not gonna lie. But to be fair, it does feel a bit cheap. I, I, I wouldn't really say cheap because SEMA makes very good value airsoft guns. <laughs> well, the FPS is 400 to 450. Holy Jesus, dude. That's quite high. So once again, this is a Gundam-inspired airsoft AEG. Gundam. <laughs> Remember that. And it comes with a high-cap magazine, of course. 
And it's, uh, that's basically it. Yeah. Okay. And a me uh, full metal version 2 gearbox. Oh, shoot. And then this, this is the other gun we got. That's the little spring pistol. The Swiss Arms Millennium PT-111 Airsoft Spring Pistol by Cyber... Oh, Cyber Gun. Hold up. It's 15 bucks. <laughs> it's 15 bucks. So, um... Once again, as per usual with all these boxes, we got all our money back with two uh, with one gun alone. Actually, it's just the Golden Eagle M16. But obviously, if I were to sell these, it's not going to sell for 205 bucks. <laughs> so let's say like 150, 140, and then this gun sells for 100. I, I still got my money back anyway, regardless. And I could just throw in a spring pistol at someone who wants it. How it is. With all that being said, uh, we saw what we got in the box. We got pretty good value, and we got a pretty decent win. We got uh, over $300 worth of stuff, and uh, that's pretty good. But uh, now, this time, I want to make an offer. If anyone would want to buy these guns, maybe just so I can recoup some of the cost, and then maybe make more, buy more of these boxes and make more content, that'd be great. Because as you know, I, these are two M4s that we got in the box. And I own a GHK... M4 SOP Mod 2 the gas blowback. I don't need more M4s in my life because I already own one that was already really expensive. So uh, if you guys are interested, feel free to just DM me or I guess comment and uh, maybe we can work something out. <laughs> Thank you for that. But uh, and another thing is uh, ignore the new room setup. Uh, I moved my room because uh, I moved my setup because my room is currently being painted and I'm not sure if this is going to be a permanent setup, but for how it is right now, it's not bad. And maybe I can use the other room for green screen stuff, which would be great for future skits, which uh, I haven't done in a while because it's been raining all the time. But uh, here we are. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe and also comment down below what I should get next. Because uh, I feel like one of you guys are going to get bored of me being opening only e-bike box of awesomeness, but uh, it's the most surefire way of getting good value out of box while having content and the surprise factor, which is why I buy these boxes in the first place. Thank you again.